Hey everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into some crucial and exciting developments in Iraq's banking system and what they mean for the Iraqi dinar. This topic has been generating a lot of discussion, and it's essential to get the facts straight. So grab a seat and let's break it down step by step. First, let's set the stage. Iraq has faced numerous challenges over the years, from decades of conflict to economic sanctions that have stifled its growth. However, recent efforts have been made to revitalize and modernize its financial sector. The government's recent announcement about forming a higher committee to adapt Iraqi banks to international financial requirements is a significant move. This committee is tasked with ensuring that Iraq's banking practices align with global standards, which could open up doors to international trade and investment. To understand the importance of this reform, we need to look back. Historically, Iraq's banking system has been underdeveloped and heavily regulated, limiting the dinar's potential in global markets. The country's reliance on oil revenue and a lack of diversification has further complicated its financial land escape. Now, let's talk about the concept of the dinar floating internationally. This is a term you might have heard thrown around quite a bit. But what does floating really mean in this context? Currently, the Iraqi dinar operates under a program rate which means it is not free to fluctuate based on supply and demand like many other currencies. This fixed rate can create a false sense of stability but often comes at the cost of economic flexibility. If Iraq wants the dinar to float freely in international markets, it would require a shift to a more flexible exchange rate system, allowing the currency to adjust according to market conditions. A floating currency can respond to economic changes more rapidly. For example, if demand for dinars increases, its value could rise, attracting even more foreign investment. Conversely, if the economy faces challenges, the dinars value could adjust downward, providing a natural buffer. Now, let's address the elephant in the room as sanctions. Some financial institutions, like Wells Fargo, have pointed out that Iraq is on the OFAC list. This raises concern for many investors and citizens, but here's the critical part, being on this list doesn't automatically mean the dinar is a bad currency. Many countries face sanctions for various reasons, yet they still maintain functioning economies. Iraq has certainly faced its share of hurdles, but it's crucial to understand that the current financial landscape is complex and fluid. For instance, while there may be restrictions on certain transactions or business dealings, Iraq's government has been actively working to navigate these challenges and strengthen its economic position. Experts suggest that while sanctions present hurdles, they can also act as catalysts for reform. The need to comply with international standards could ultimately lead to better practices in governance and finance. So, what does Iraq need to do to transition its dinar into international markets? A new exchange rate is absolutely essential. This higher committee isn't just about compliance it's about crafting a financial infrastructure that can support sustainable growth. This involves not only currency valuation but also building a robust regulatory framework that attracts foreign investment. Transparency is key investors need to feel confident that their money is secure and that Iraq is a stable environment for business. Historically, foreign direct investment in Iraq has been low compared to its potential. But as reforms take shape, we could see a shift. A clear and transparent banking system, improved regulatory oversight, and stable economic policies can draw in international capital. Experts are optimistic but there are still significant challenges ahead. If the government successfully implements these reforms, we could see a more favorable environment for the dinar. The goal is to establish a currency that can be trusted and traded internationally, but this won't happen overnight. There are numerous factors to consider, political stability, economic growth, infrastructure development, and the establishment of reliable banking practices. The upcoming months and years will be crucial in determining the future of the Iraqi dinar. 
the people of Iraq have endured a lot, and there's a collective help for a brighter economic future. Many are eager to see the dinar gain strength and stability, which could have a profound impact on their daily lives. While the formation of this higher committee is a positive step towards modernizing Iraq's banking system, there's still a long road ahead. The potential for the dinar to float internationally is certainly exciting, but it hinges on comprehensive economic reforms and a stable political environment. What we are witnessing is not just about currency it's about a nation's journey towards economic recovery and empowerment. If you found this video informative, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into global economics and currency trends. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the future of the Iraqi dinar? Do you think these reforms will succeed? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.